What's up guys welcome to Juno Electronics. My name is Clement. Today I'll be showing you how to use a PCB board. I have two programs on my computer. I have a PCB wizard and I have a live wire um, program. Uh, but I like using more of a live wire professional edition because it, it lets you uh, simulate uh, your design so you can see if something's wrong or if something's right. I'm going ahead and uh, give give you a small demo. I'm gonna build a, a voltage regulator, 5 volt. Uh, so here's a working place, working ground. As you can see here, it has a simulating uh, option. It has a library that you can find out components that you may want. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and choose some uh, components here. 5 volt uh, regulator. Um, we need a 1k resistor, capacitor, electric capacitor, and um, LD. We need some LD as well. Okay. okay, so I'm just gonna check first here. So this capacitor are just uh, there for um, smoothing uh, the voltage and to make sure you have a stable uh, DC voltage. Uh, I'm gonna give a battery, 9 volt. So and here you can just simulate to see if things are wrong. You can see LD is lighting, so that is good. Uh, so uh, I like to show you. It has also uh, another a multimeter that you can see uh, the measurements. A digital multimeter here. I'm gonna add it. Connect positive, terminal, and negative. And if I play, you see C5 volt. So it's a really useful uh, program. I'm gonna zoom in. You can see that's five volt, five volt and two. I mean, it's about so it's really uh, very useful. And uh, I'm gonna uh, increase uh, the input voltage. And normal it should stay uh, five volt. Oh, it's not, I'm gonna put up up to let's say uh, thirty volt. And it should stay 5 volt. I'm gonna play, and there you go. So it's really uh, yeah, it's working uh, correctly. Uh, here you, you have a, a large capacitor, a 5 volt uh, regulator, and an LD just showing uh, when the power is out. So it's very useful circuit, a very useful uh, uh, program for people who wanna start to design their circuit using computers and all that okay uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this and for example if you want if you want to go and go ahead and print it uh, you like to towards some more components um, such as this Okay, there. Okay, you can write here output. Okay, nice done. And then here, you can also just rotate them, so it's very handy. So, Once you have your setup and you like to go ahead and print this, 
if you want to go to, if you want to etching and all that you just gonna go here um, tools convert design here you can do it on your own you can choose to do it on your own you can choose a circular or just a normally rectangular go ahead you just have some set, some setting to change some stuff I'm gonna try to do uh, manually then you it's gonna here this a uh, copper area okay uh, so this is my regulator so 1k okay. uh, okay this 1k and my LD the LD there okay um output uh, is there Oh, this input in this side, this one over there. Um, this capacitor, and this should be same over there. I'm going to try to zoom in so I can see it a bit close. Okay, now the wire kind of was in the right place, so I'm gonna try to. Make more neat. So this area is good. I'm going to try to take this here, like so. So there's no crossing of wires. That's good. Um, then this one. Hmm. Get to change the capacitor. I'm gonna zoom in again. Okay, um, okay, there you go. So you can see there's no uh, wire crossing each other. Well, you can do it like that according to your own. Uh, Desire the way you want to, you want them to be, and you can always put your label inside there and all that. Then you can add some text, for example, uh, yeah, and, uh, electronics. I put it right there, so just like that. And then you you wanna wanna add some uh, add output at the at the output a plus. Indicating that uh, there's a positive one with the positive side, so that's good. And then you, so you can see in all directions. That's how it's gonna be when you, when the circuit is finished. At work, that's the way to print it if you want. Off, uh, when you're ready to print, you have to make sure you go to a mirror, and then you have to print on your desire. Okay, this is one side of uh, of this program. I'm gonna show you. I wanna build another circuit as well, just to give you another first look and another under, maybe understanding. Okay, I'm gonna just pass on everything here. Okay, I'm gonna go to our library. Quick stuff here. No. No. Output. What do you need here? Seven segment LD display. Uh, yeah, got to something. Okay, here we have a uh, decoder counter. Oh, so uh, one button. Let's pick again. There, uh, go. Okay, I'm gonna fix this first. So okay, these are input. It's been two clock enable, thumb test, 
research and uh in three entrance okay we're gonna take some power uh nine four battery so there and just like like this thing okay and the three and there and this one just connect them together bring them up like so round and then you switch it okay nothing happening oh i made it so it, it have, the wire is joined which is, should not join okay gonna fix that bring down Okay, that's good. Gonna try something is wrong. Um, pin four. Okay. Um, pin two. It should be one. Pin fifteen. Game one fifteen okay. Okay. okay I see I did my mistake here. Mm, stop this because this early it needs uh, a a a grant that's to go there. You know disconnect this and take this one, bring it here and then normally you can see it's displaying zero for the moment because there's no uh, input. So we're gonna uh, work on that. I'm gonna uh, build another circuit with any paper time chip. Okay, we're there. Mm. You just have to. I also can. I'm still can new on the program, so uh, I don't know. Uh, you have to learn where the all components are. Okay, okay. integrated circuits, okay, and if I turn on chip is there, and then you're gonna need some um pink resistor and uh, just the uh, capacitor. Okay. That's good. Okay, gonna bring that in there. Okay, the round. Then can I join this together? For the positive side, this is just to join them together. And uh, right there, uh, I'm gonna put uh, add some. I'm gonna add a lead just to show you how the the output are being uh, sent. Okay. Output LED. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait. So let me see. I'm gonna connect this. Advanced, I play. Now there is no lighting because there's no power, of course. I'm gonna just stop this part. Okay. There's the power. This side. Okay, and then if you play, it should light. Okay. That's how signal being sent. Since they're blinking, and you can if you is going too fast, uh, you just have to change this one. So you put, for example, four seven two nine five. Like so. Um. No. Okay, this is gonna take long to. Uh, I have to do X value there. Okay, 
uh, is a nice closer look. Okay, you see the power how it's going through the circuit, the board. Capacitor is charging. The LED lighting. Uh, let me see what I, what's happening if I change this one to twenty k. Mm. I just put the other one around. I think because it's charging is better slow. And here yeah, there's no signal, so it's zero. So you're gonna connect that. I zoom out a little bit. Okay, like so. This mm. is this is our input. So we're gonna first stop it, and then we take to that this one here. So input, and then. It should count, you see, it's counting very fast. Put the LD there, so we need to deal with this capacitor here. So I'm gonna stop again uh, to the right value. Okay, and you can see it's, it's a bit slower, yeah, and this is counting until 9. So, okay. So guys, that's how you use uh, this uh, live wire professional edition software for just. I find it very useful because you can just uh, design and test them, and and you can also print them. So it's very useful service. Yeah, you can stop if you want. For example, you wanna convert it. You wanna go ahead and make your own PCB board. Uh, here, okay, uh, I showed you uh, how to make uh, manually, but you can actually edit uh, automatically. You let the computer do it for you, like so, and you saw. And you can see the computer just uh, replace components automatically where they should be. Then you're gonna check the 100% good connection, all good, so it's nice. And then you can have an other look, okay? So this is how it's gonna look like. And if you're not okay, you can just go manually and uh, and you can reset on your you can just reset on your way the way you want. You can replace them according to your desire. So so guys, that's all about it. If you want to print, make sure it's on this position. Then you have to go it's at work. Then you have to go to file. Uh, print, make sure it is on mirror, uh, mirror PCB at work, and then you print it. And don't forget to put your logo your logo over here, and then you just print it, and then things are good. So, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned.